the town, a talented song, jumping along, long to run, jumping the cart, cuts away. All right, this is how you triangulate a location. In this case, it's going to be a biangulation, I believe is what it's called when you go to two points. This is how you find your location, uh, physical location on the map. Most times in the woods, you're going to be uh, triangulating off of uh, topographical features, uh, things like hills, cliffs, prominent uh, points of interest in the in the, the lay of the land, and it's a lot more difficult and. Uh, it's, it's it's doable, but it's a lot more difficult than it was and something that I don't think I could show you well on on this video. So we're going to do it here. First things first, we're going to orient our map. Okay, lay the map and compass down. Compass on top of the map. Put it on a grid line. This isn't a grid line. This is a, a road line, but uh, you get the idea, right? Turn the entire thing, map and compass together until they orient with each other. You see now compass is facing north and so is the the compass rose on the map all right from this point you uh, look at the key indicators on your map and um, you orient them to what you see in front of you so um, there's a lake right here on the map looking around I can't see that lake so that does me no good I can however see this TV tower it's right over here to my right. All right, there's the TV tower. Now this map doesn't show it, but uh, I know that there's a, a church right here at this intersection. And I can see that church directly in front of me. Okay, so I've got two good points to um, biangulate off of. I know that uh, these two points on the map, I can see them with my eyes in front of me, physically, and I can see them on the map. So, here's how you figure out your positioning. You shoot an azimuth to each of these two objects. The first one I'll shoot to is the church. Okay, compass to cheek method. Alright, that's a heading of 15 degrees. So now on my map, I take my compass, I lay it down with a straight edge, one end of that straight edge on where that church is, and then I move this compass until it reads 15 degrees. Okay, once it reads 15 degrees on the dial, I draw a line. Alright, there's our line, back from the church at 15 degrees. Now I shoot an azimuth to the tower. All right, my azimuth to tower was 70 degrees. Same thing. Put my straight edge on the TV tower. Move my compass until it reads 70 degrees. Okay, it reached 70 degrees right there. I draw a line. Okay, this point right here where these two lines intersect, that's approximately where I am. Now, of course, the more points you have to shoot an azimuth to, the more uh, positive your position is going to be whenever you intersect all those lines. The less you have, of course, the less accurate it's going to be. You can do this off of one point, um, but it's a very unreliable indicator of where you are. It'll just give you a general area. Okay, here's a practical application of the skill. First things first, orient our map. Okay, something you always want to do is research the area that you're going to be uh, navigating in before you go, um, if at all possible. And so I know this area, and I know that uh, right, right here is where I'm at, roughly. This is a parking lot conservation area. And I'm going to navigate for the practical exercise up to that church that we shot the asthma off of. You can see right here that uh, I'm in sort of a, a draw, and down through here we get into some flatter ground, and it starts working up a pretty good incline right here. Looks like I have a small creek crossing here, which uh, could be 
large or small, depending on the time of year. Okay, if you'll notice this church, and it's probably hard for you to see on this video, but there's a church right here that I'm going to be uh, navigating to, and there's a, the crossroads that we were on earlier. This road comes down this way, and this road heads to the north. It's a crossroads right here. So I'm going to intentionally aim off to the north of this church to where whenever I'm walking, I can hit this road. This is point A, it's where you are. This is point B, where you want to go. This is a cabin, there's a road that runs around this cabin. Old gravel road, nobody ever travels it much. There's a pond up here, you want to go fishing, right? Can't see this pond from this road. Okay, you're bearing, you shoot an azimuth on your map, your bearing is 187 degrees to get to the point B. If you try to uh, rely on uh, heading out 187 degrees and staying right on that this whole time um, you might uh, vary a degree or two one way or the other let's say you came out on this side of, of, of the point B and you can't see point B from where you come out at over here okay you come out and you see this road well you know this road runs in front of this cabin but how do you know which way to go you don't okay so you plan ahead for that instead you're heading at, at 187 degrees um, Go on heading of, uh, say, 190 degrees, or 195 degrees, it's not too far away. That way you know you're going to come out on the right side of this thing. You know whenever you come out here, you're, you're intentionally aiming off to one side, and you know which side that is, in this case it would be the right side. So whenever you come out here and you see the road, you know you turn left to get to the cabin. If your uh, destination point has some kind of a linear feature in front of it, you can you can use this method to, to find it a lot easier. Intentionally aiming off, that's what I'm going to do here. So whenever I hit this road, I'll know to go south to hit the church. Okay, so first thing I need to do is uh, get a heading from position where I am to the position that I want to end up at. All right, so laying the compass on the on uh, my current position and lining it up with the the position I want to head to. Okay, and that reading is going to be 90 degrees. That's the heading I'm going to take, and that's the heading I'm going to stay on, or try to. 